This is Lightbulb, an old Roblox horror classic from years ago, now ported into a version that actually works, and isn't broken due to new updates. I've heard lots of good things about this game and it apparently even got an award. There are a few remakes of this game available to play instead, but I feel like those stray far too much from the original game and according to the majority, the original is the best way to play it, and after trying them all out for myself, I absolutely agree. Without a doubt, this is horror done right. Welcome to Lightbulb, now this is one of those older Roblox games, except this version actually works thanks to someone called Eerie555. Thanks to him we can now experience the original version. Wait, what, what did that say? So yeah, I played Silent Dark a while ago, which was made by the same guy who made Lightbulb. Zika is his name. I love how it just spawns us in with no context whatsoever. We got the top down perspective, we got the bird's eye view. And uh, it's very quiet. There was nothing back here. Now if you just Whoa! Run and hide. Wait, what? Where'd the locker go? Where'd the locker go? I thought we were meant to hide in that. Huh? Sorry, what? No, no, I saw a locker there thinking, oh, we'd probably have to hide in there. No, I didn't think it'd be this early into the game. It's not, it's not even been a minute yet. Oh, we have to turn the lights on, otherwise we won't be able to proceed. What am I hearing? What, what was on that on my screen? Phone. Hello? It's you can look around. Are you in the maze too? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't hear him. Okay, I'm resetting the game. Oh, now I can hide. Now I can hide. Okay. Okay. It's different now? What did he just do? I'll, I'll stay here. I'll stay here for as long as I need to. Now, I heard the original game was broken, so that's why I'm playing this one. And hopefully, this isn't broken either. I'm pretty sure it isn't. Okay, he's gone. Oh, I hear him. Quickly, run. Run. Get out of here. Okay. Now, this time, let's make sure not to skip the phone guy. Did someone cut the phone? Are you in the maze too? Uh, just, just, when you find it, uh, when, when, I have to go. Hmm? Stop messing with the wood. No wood. Uh, uh, okay, sounds like he's used to whatever that is. It's kind of funny. Okay. Please turn on. Alright, so that guy's probably dead. I don't know who the hell he was, but we may never see him again. And we got a code here, it seems. But where do I get the code? There's no doors here. I mean, there was doors back there, but not here. So why are there two light switches for the same room? And where are the light bulbs in light bulb? What? Right, there's notes on the floor. A bunch of notes. Can I read any of these? No, I can't. Five, three, two, four, five, five. All right, I'm I'm gonna have to remember that. Wait, there's nothing to write this on. All right, I'll remember that. I'll remember that. It's fine. I don't I don't need a notepad or something. I will I will remember that. Yep. Whoa. Uh, who was that? Where has he gone? Disappeared. Very odd. I'm guessing that we'll see that guy again. Huh. Was that this? This fell. Is he toying with me? Because I'm sure he could have easily gotten me there if he wanted to. So note here. Hide and Seeker, so that's his name. A monster that is more similar to a ghost or a phantom. This monster tries to... I cannot read that. The Hide and Seeker does what his name suggests. It hides until you find it, which is usually inadvertently. It hides itself by turning off lights. Usually a room's lights have turned off by themselves. If a room's lights have turned off by themselves, you should avoid that room at all costs. Well, I think that's already happened before, and here I am, still alive. So, it can kill me if it wants to, but it doesn't. It's there, standing right there. Don't turn on the light, please. Wait, what? You just told me not to go in the dark room, so... And that if I go in dark rooms, it'll kill me, so... Are you contradicting yourself? And why is there no music? Right, which way do we go now? Oh, wait, the code. Yeah, I completely forgot. The code was down here, wasn't it? 
No, it wasn't. Here it was. Here it was. What was the code? Uh, five, three, two, two, four, five, five. Okay, I got it right. That closed up, but this opened up now, leading us into a new area. This is very unsettling. The ambience has completely stopped. And um, what's with the empty rooms? This makes no sense. Where the hell are we? Where is this place? It's, just, it's a paper here. And in the last minutes of his life, he began hearing a slow sound. Tick, 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 tick. Lower, lower. Is it telling me to go down? No, I was going to go this way anyways. Well. Okay, there's the sound. It's a key here. For what? I'll take that. Sure, why not? And there's empty canvases. Nothing on them. What are these? I thought these were crowbars. Okay. Did I fall into a trap? <gasps> I did. He's banging on the door. Mm. Wait, I can climb up this. I can climb this up. Why does he have books? Didn't know you like to read, hide and seeker. Oh, the whole floor's going gone dark. What is that? Was that his footsteps? Yeah, that was his footsteps. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Come on. What are these alien-like sounds? No, he's he moved the bookshelf and he didn't get me again. He and he broke the door. I think he knows. He knows I was in there. What's in here? Oh, the suspense as you turn on the lights to a pitch black room. We're in a kitchen now. Is the hide and seek also a chef? We got notes here. What does this say? Wait, can I read it? Dream journal. Day one, dream that I was having my ninth birthday. Dream ended quickly. Day two, dream that I was having my ninth birthday. Again, the clown began to laugh uncontrollably. Dream ended quickly. Day three, dream that I was reading my dream journal. Realized that the t text was being written as I read. Stop, 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 no. Odd, whose dream journal was that? And we've got another note here. Medical report. Diagnosis, patient seems to have a medium case of schizophrenia. Symptoms, patient has seen a dark version of himself wandering about the house. This dark version of himself, is he the hide and seeker? Who is this other guy here? Was it the phone guy? I mean, he did sound pretty schizophrenic. Who was he talking to? Was it the monster? Or was it something else? Huh? I saw something. There. It was a shadow. I saw a shadow. We can't go this way. We have to turn the lights on, obviously. There. Lights are on here. And it looks like there's stairs. Well, we're not going to go up the stairs, first of all. We, we want to see what's down here. It's like pitch black in there. Is there really nowhere else we can go? I guess we have to go up the stairs now. And proceed on to the next chapter. Also, I hate this. Why is this stupid Mike's symbol doing it? It's really distracting. Should get out of the way. I don't want it here. Oh. Phone guy again. Did someone pick up the phone? Uh, sorry that I couldn't help me. last time. Oh, he's Make alive. Sure you look around while on the phone. It could be anywhere. Anywhere? That thing is still around here. I hadn't seen it Where in a while. It I don't in like that? to look into its face. It's, it's eyes. I think it has really good hearing. If you haven't seen or heard it in a long time, you should probably be more concerned. I think this place is static. Like nightmares. I, I gotta go. I, I think it's following me. Following you where? Also, it could be anywhere. You say, well, I can pretty much make that out by myself. But you confirming it makes it even worse. Was someone here? Another human? Or is it just us? Are we all alone? There's more notes on the floor. And look, uh, well, it's a typewriter. This big ass typewriter, man. Look at look at me compared to the size of the typewriter. Either I'm small or the typewriter is massive. You know, I think I think it's just the typewriter. Because compared to everything else, I'm a pretty decent size. Okay, why is the camera angle changing like that? Yeah, I did not want to go that way. Alright. Okay. That's where I go. 
I have to remember which way I'm going. There's so much rooms. There's rooms everywhere. Four? Could that be some sort of code? There's four digits, so, and four is, is probably the second digit. And there's another room here. This looks more like a secret room. I mean, that was very, uh, compared to all the other rooms, that was a lot more difficult to spot. And there's more empty rooms with a few shelves. Why? Why? Hello. That was not there before. What's here now? The music's changed. And even more blank canvases. It feels like there's meant to be a painting of, of some sort there. Do these two just lead to the same place? Yeah, it does. Except this is a dead end. We have to go this way around. This thing could be anywhere. At any moment. At any given time. Alright. What? Whoa! 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 Already? Oh, what does that sound? That does not sound nice. Also, I'm pretty sure the music is meant to stop at a moment like this. Why was the phone guy not answering? Wait, he moved the shelf. He knows I'm here. So why won't you get me? Are you are you playing with your food? And then at the very last moment, you're gonna you're gonna finally swoop in and kill me. Lights turn back on. That's probably an indication that he's gone. You know that makes sense because. I wouldn't want to stay in there forever. Wait. The phone rang. Hey! Did it, did it is just bark? This is a trap! The monster's gonna get you! Find some words! Run! Hang up the phone! It's coming! Stop listening to me! Hang up the phone! Again! Run. Hold up. Wait, no, no, I don't want this. Uh, let's just step away from that i know you were in there somewhere yeah i could tell look there's the same painting where's the other digits though and i can still very faintly hear the phone in the distance but i can ignore it i think the game just bugged huh did he try to crush me or is he only doing that to startle me? I still don't fully understand this hide and seeker. And m even more empty rooms. What is the purpose? You know, this is actually really well made. This is horror done right. <gasps> okay, I won't. You know, if you don't want me to play the piano, I won't. You don't have to growl. You know, what? I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Hey, he's not growling. Have you finally given up? Okay. He doesn't care anymore. You know, you're not even that good at the piano. I bet I could rack up a melody better than this. I can't go in. Do dark rooms just have some sort of invisible barrier? I have to find more s switches. Speaking of switches. Right, let's turn on the whole area. But oh, where are the light bulbs? Considering this, the, hey, the game is light bulb. someone pick up the phone? This is my plan. We're gonna cut the power and escape. Phone this guy is a virtual again. Simulation. I don't want to worry you. Cut the, the power. The lights will be off for a short amount of time, but then we'll be out. All hey, hey, have you been hearing that guy on the phone? Don't listen to him. He's fake. He's gonna cut me off. He's not real. All you have to do is pull the big red switch in the control room after I get those doors open. Uh, oh, by the way, that thing has been interrupting phone calls. You have to listen to me. I'm the only real one talking to you. Remember that. Okay, I have to go. Hold up. So there were two people on that phone call. I think the real one was the first guy who talked to me. The second guy seemed like really panicked. And there's another room here. So, oh, with a key. Huge ass key. Yeah, so he said he was going to turn the power off for a short amount of time. But that means the monster's going to be able to get me. And it's just silence. Alright, so I have to be quick, don't I? Will the monster get me? I don't I don't know for will. This is all very ominous. Oh I saw that, I saw that. Huh? 
What? Where do I go? Do I hide? Or do I go towards it? I don't know. I don't know. I'll go towards it. I could only catch a small glimpse of it. This is what it always does. The game always does this. It only lets you catch a small glimpse of it. And it never lets you fully see it. There's another phone here. But I can't pick it up. Oh yeah, he did say he cut the, uh, the power off. So that makes sense. Because the phones wouldn't be working. The power is on. What's the static sound I hear? Do I go this way? I don't know where I'm going. This there's like so much areas every everywhere there's still one path back there i didn't take and this is a completely different area it's not wood anymore it's metal and it's tiles another phone but i can't pick it up the power still seems to be off power's on back here what's down here though empty dead end oh oh that was him he looks different though was that actually him? Can I fall off? No, I, I can't. You can't jump in this game either. There's a table. It's oh, I can probably oh no, there there he is again. So it it's not it doesn't look like a bottomless pit. <gasps> oh, I almost fell in there. Can I actually fall in there? I don't I don't want to risk it. Can I? nothing there again all right let me turn the light switch on and more empty space as usual wait you can see the outside where are we this is just in the middle of nowhere and am i meant to jump wait can i not just oh uh, okay i can go through this yeah that's what i can do what if i jump down <gasps> oh mm. That wasn't good. Yep, no. Did I just... Did I just trigger something? Huh? I hear the right. growling. I'm getting the doors open. Just Phone wait again. here until you can get inside. It's, it's... It's... Just wait there. When you get in, pull the switches and shut off the maze's power. I know this seems like a bad thing to do, but you have to trust me. Don't and listen to the, the other one that may be talking to you. He's... He's <gasps> just a distraction. He's it's the monster trying to get you lost. If you pass up these switches, we may never see the light of day again. This is our one chance to escape. Don't pull the switches! Don't let it convince you! I'm real! I'm real! It's a trick! It's open! The door is open! Pull the switches! Oh. Uh, I don't- I don't believe the second guy. He was, a, he was the same guy who interrupted the call last time. So is he trying to mimic it? And try to trick me? For what? For what purpose? I'll trust the first guy though and I'll switch the levels. No! Yeah, so I'm doing the right thing. Okay, flip that again. And then flip the third one. Did I do it? Did I get the good ending? Is that the good ending? Which way do I go? Oh, the exit. That's it. No, that's not it. We're in a first person view now. Where am I? Huh? I saw that. <gasps> the lights are turning off behind me. No, 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 no. Don't catch up to me. Come back, don't leave, please. Wait, the hide and seeker also left as well, or whoever that was. Am I going towards it? The good ending. Hold on, let's get at the bad ending now. I didn't see this room. Whoa, whoa. I didn't see that encounter. Where did he go? Oh. It did say this was the room that it said not to go into rooms that turn the lights off by itself. And that just happened right now. And also, did we get this chair from a park or what? This stands out from like everything else. Wait! Well, I didn't see that last time. Oh, I think it's because I closed this the first time. And then I reopened it. But this, look, it's so subtle and so hidden. You, you just barely notice it from the corner of your eye. 
and once I look, it just backs away. And it seems like the hide and seeker changes forms as well, because that looks different to the first time I saw it. Hey, did someone pick up the phone? This is my plan. We're going to cut the power and escape. This is a virtual simulation. I don't want to worry you. The, the lights will be off for a short amount of time, but then we'll be out. All hey, hey, have you been hearing that guy on the phone? Don't listen to him. He's fake. He's going to cut me off. He's not real. All you have to do is pull the big red switch in the control room after I get those doors open. Uh, oh, by the way, that thing has been interrupting phone calls. You have to listen to me. I'm the only real one talking to you. Remember that. Okay, I have to go. Wait, what? That changed. That area changed and I never even noticed. Yeah, it changed. How did I not notice? The first time round, that's fallen over. Now this time I'm not gonna trigger the monster encounter and I'm just gonna go through like that. Oh, I heard that. This time round, we're not gonna flick any of the switches and we're just gonna go straight to the exit. We did, there was, there wasn't even any exit. The light just went blank. Uh, and here it is, it's just a hole. So this is, last time was a good ending because we escaped. Now this is probably the bad ending. And uh, we're back in first person. Where are we going to? I love how we're three feet tall. This is so strange. Look, they're literally, the shelves are going into each other. They're all over the place. They're so unorganized. All right, wait, that's the exit? It looks different. It's just blue and green. Huh? Oh, I should have known. I didn't move. It just moved by itself. Ah. And the lights are going off behind us. You know what that means when we're in pitch black darkness. You know what it means. It means death. And it also means the death ending. That was it. Light bulb. Just like Silent Dark, that was really good. You know, I gotta give that. I would have give that a 7 out of 10. That antagonist, the fact that it can just get you whenever it can, but it chooses not to, combined with the anticipation of turning the light switches on before entering a room, it had me on edge, considering how most ro Roblox horror games today are ass garbage. The fact this was made all the way back in 2016 really shows. And... I swear this got an award as well. This along with Silent Dark is very understandable. It, this game and Silent Dark both deserved an award. And thank you Eerie555 for fixing it and making it actually playable. Yeah, so that's it. Goodbye.